I woke up in the middle of the hallway when suddenly I heard kissing noises from my twin brother Mark's room. I took a peek from the door and had the biggest shock of my life. He wasn't kissing his girlfriend or another girl. He was kissing my boyfriend for the love of God. I was so shocked I started nose bleeding. I barged into the room screaming, What did I do wrong? Don't you like my long hair anymore? My love, I... Mark shoved him away and defensively said, Get out of my room, you little perv. He then ran to the window and started pretending to throw up violently. Oh, and now you're pregnant? La good guy. Shut up, brat. It's not what you think. My boyfriend immediately jumped out of the window without any explanation and was never seen again, ever. He was a jerk anyway. Mama barged in and asked what happened. Ma, Mark kissed my boyfriend. Correction, her stupid boyfriend sneaked into my room and kissed me. Gadidi, it's not my fault that both girls and boys are crazy about me. OMG, you're just jealous because I'm better than you at almost everything, even soccer. You wish. I'm the man of the house. I'll do whatever I want whenever I want, and I will make sure to ruin your life. Mama glared at me. Stop annoying my darling boy. Gay or not, at least his room is clean. Look, it's more organized than your entire life, you useless girl. Go clean your room now. My room is always clean. It's just organized in a messy way. And did you ever hear him threatening me, like just now? Mama continued blabbering, which made me sleepy, and I yawned. Moments later, I just dropped on the floor and fell asleep. Again. Oh, hi there. My name is Trixie. I'm from the Philippines, and I have a condition called narcolepsy, where I sleep literally anytime and anywhere. But that didn't stop me from stealing my brother's girlfriend to get revenge on him. Like and subscribe to hear my story. You see, my annoying brother was in the same class as mine, and he made my life crazier with this condition. One day, our history teacher was talking about how our country was made up of 7,640 beautiful islands when Christian, Mark's best friend, suddenly went down on his knees and asked me to marry him. Was this for real? Oh, yes, Christian, I do, I do, I will marry you. Suddenly, our teacher kicked my seat and I was wide awake. Detention for sleeping in class again, Trixie. I looked around and saw that everyone was laughing at me, including Christian himself. My stupid brother teased me. Oh, yes, Christian, I do, I do, I will marry you. So freaking stupid. Oh, no, had I seriously said that? I had been secretly crushing on Christian since forever, but I'd never admit it because he was my jerk brother's best friend. While on my way to the detention room, I bumped into Christian of all people. He was grinning from ear to ear as he helped me up. So, I heard from a reliable source that you want to marry me. It, it was just a dream. Like, ew, you're not even my type. My heart instantly raced when he leaned in closer and started playing with my hair. You're really cute, you know. Uh, huh? He pressed my nose and gave a wink before leaving. Oh, MG, my heart. Just then, Mark and his girlfriend Julia, the most beautiful girl in school, walked by me. They just pushed me away and continued walking. I landed on the ground and fell asleep right away. And when I woke up, girls were looking differently at me. Were they drooling? I got even more confused at what they were saying. Oh my god, who is he? He's so cute. Have babies with me, new guy. He can ruin my life and I'll thank him. I passed by a locker which had a mirror attached to it and screamed at the top of my lungs when I realized that someone had cut my hair short. I immediately thought of Mark. It was surely him. I stomped over to Julia. Her eyes grew wide upon seeing me. Did he send you to cut my hair? Huh? What are you talking about? And who are you? Duh, I'm Trixie. She looked totally shocked and a bit hooked. Mark was going to pay for this. This is a joke, right? Julia leaned in closer to inspect my face and our lips almost touched. You look more handsome than your brother. Mark showed up looking very, very jealous. It gave me an idea for a perfect payback by stealing his girlfriend. Babe, what are you doing? I was just telling your sister how she got uglier and short hair. Come on, babe, stop wasting your time on her. He snatched Julia away and the girl looked back at me and gave me a weird smile. Later that day, I was looking for her and found her watching the soccer practice along with hundreds of other girls. She was surprised when I sat beside her. I tried talking to her, but she was ignoring me. Why couldn't she be like those other girls who were suddenly going crazy over me? Mark turned in our direction, so I grinned and whispered some nonsense in his girlfriend's ear to make it look like we were flirting. Robot potato. Huh? I so wanted to laugh at Julia's face. The girl looked so confused. I was so loving the look of jealousy on Mark's face. Minutes later, I had fallen asleep in the bleachers. And when I woke up, 
Christian was kicking the ball and flew it in my direction. Thank God I immediately caught it with one hand. Everyone looked very impressed. I really was good at soccer. Christian ran up to me and said, I'm so sorry about that, dude. Wait, Trixie, is that you? Why did you cut your beautiful hair? His disappointed face made me want to cry. I missed my long hair so much. Because of that, my hatred for my brother grew even more. Somebody cut it while I was sleeping. I bet it was someone insecure. I made sure that Mark heard it. It will grow back again in a month. Don't worry. Anyway, that catch was perfect. You should be our new goalkeeper. The last one is in a coma since he got hit on his head. Mark immediately rejected his idea. Dude, said Yosoka, my sister's a girl and she just messed the game. Try me. Their coach agreed to it and the next moment I was already standing in the goal box with all the players lined up in front of me, ready to kick the ball. They were all stunned when I caught them all effortlessly. Mark looked like he was about to eat me alive, but Christian was looking very impressed. Oh my god, Trixie, that was so cool. Suddenly, hundreds of girls were running towards me looking like hungry pregnant cats. Oh no, I immediately excused myself and hid inside the janitor's closet. I took out my pillow and instantly fell asleep. When I woke up, I almost screamed upon seeing Julia's face up close. She was on top of me, and she was holding scissors. Panicking, I pushed her away and she crashed against the janitor's things and knocked them all over, making some loud noise. You stupid girl! Why can't you be ugly? I should have cut everything last time. No one should be prettier than me. What? So it was actually her and not Mark? What a psycho! She was about to pull my hair when the door opened and I came face to face with a shocked Christian, a furious Mark, and the jealous girls behind them. Apparently, it looked like I had just made out with Julia. I swear, at that moment, I wanted to disappear. Julia immediately went after Mark while I was left with Christian and the other girls. I was about to explain, but he stopped me. It's okay, Trixie. I understand. I wanted to run after him, but these furious girls were blocking my way. Could this day get any worse? The soccer finals finally came and I tripped over something out of nervousness. To my surprise, someone picked me up and carried me like we just got married. Christian! W what are you doing? Just making your dreams come true. I was blushing hardcore when he gently put me on my seat and sat next to me. I wanted to be clear to him that I wasn't a lesbian, but then Mark suddenly squeezed himself between us and they started talking about girls and mobile legends. Ugh, boys. When we reached the stadium, the game immediately started and it was intense. The players of our rival school were really good. One of them was already kicking the ball in my direction. I was so confident that I'd catch it, but to my surprise, I tripped again and missed it. I looked down and noticed that I'd actually forgotten to tie my shoelaces. I caught Mark smirking at me. Oh, that jerk was happy I messed the game. Thankfully, I was able to catch the next ones. Things got really boring in the middle of the game, so I fell asleep in the middle of the goal box. Minutes later, I woke up to my brother pouring water over me and the sound of my teammates and everyone screaming at me. Trixie, wake up! I instantly rose to life and saw the current score. It was now a tie and we only had 10 seconds left. When I got up, a player was now running my way and oh boy, those legs were scary. All right, Trixie, you're a girl and you're cool. You can stop this. He kicked the ball real hard and I jumped to reach it and slapped it away. My teammates in the audience rose to cheer for our victory. Christian picked me up and twirled me around like we were happy lovers. You were amazing. He was about to kiss me when Mark interrupted us. You did great, sis. I couldn't believe my ears. It was the first time he'd ever said a nice thing about me. Thanks, Skuya. When we came back to school, everyone was treating me like a hero and the girls were showering me with gifts and marriage proposals. I turned to Christian and gave him a help me look, but he just gave me a very sad look. Did he really think that I was enjoying these girls' attention? Suddenly, I felt brave. I grabbed his face and finally kissed him in front of those girls. He kissed me back and I had butterflies flapping around wildly in my stomach. I looked for Mark, but I couldn't find him anywhere. I wondered if he was okay. He didn't go to school the next day and I got a bit worried. One night, I decided to sneak into his room, only to get another shocker when I saw him staring at Christian's picture in his wallet. Oh my god! I thought he was jealous because of Julia, but no! It was because of Christian! His best friend and my crush! Grab it, though! Suddenly he spoke. I know you're there, sis. Come and sit with your loser brother. For the first time in my life, I felt sorry for him. I sat beside him and to my surprise, he hugged me and his body shook as he cried. You're not a loser, okay? We are not losers. Remember that. Christian has really liked you since day one, you know. Take care of that jerk for me, okay? I promise. The rivalry between my brother and I finally came to an end 
And as a bonus, I also became Mama's new favorite when I finally cleaned my room.